Hey guys, my name is Sasha. Welcome back to my channel and today I have a book haul. I watched Charlie's Angels last night and I swear to God, everyone in that movie is hot. I just don't get it. Like the villains were hot. The girls were hot. Everyone was hot. So here is my book haul. Um, it's been a while. Last video you would have seen was my hospital bag video. Um, I had my baby on that day that you, the video was put up. Um, and that was fun and she is six weeks old now and I had other videos that I had filmed and was going to put up but I never got around to editing them and I just don't feel like editing them now because it was so long ago. So we're just gonna forget about them. Um, but I have a couple books here today um because i have had a birthday since you last saw me first book i have to talk about is ninth house by lee bardugo i have never actually actually no i have <coughs> i totally forgot i have read her grease trilogy and i really enjoyed it um but this is like a dark academia sort of book i believe it's Lee Bardugo's adult debut and I'm really excited to pick it up. Um, I've been seeing a lot of it at um, op shops though so I'm not quite sure why. Like hopefully it's still good um, but it's about this girl called Alex who um, is at Yale and I believe she becomes part of the secret society. So um, that's all I really know about it um, but I've seen a couple of people say it's good. I haven't heard anyone say it's bad, but yeah, this is the first book. Next book, this was actually a gift from my lovely friend Brit, um, Brit's Book Rex. If you follow her on Instagram, if you don't, you should definitely go check her out. This is A Song of Wraith and Ruins by Roseanne A. Brown. I have been raving about wanting this book and Brit was just a random act of kindness from her and I absolutely adore it and I want to thank Brit so much for it. I'm so excited to read it, probably read it next month, so September. It had a lot of hype back in June but it is about this girl called Nadia? No. It's about this girl called Karina who resurrects her mother through ancient magic and then you've also got this guy called Malik who is trying to destroy Karina so I'm pretty excited um it sounds very magical and this cover is just absolutely gorgeous I'm just really excited to read it next book is House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis to be honest I have no idea what this book is about all I read was dragons and mm, here we are um but Jessica Lewis, I haven't read any of her, but I've been wanting to read A Shadow Bright and Burning because that cover is gorgeous. This cover is gorgeous. Um, but I believe we've got five different characters. The liar, the soldier, the servant, the thief, and the murderer. Um, and they might all have to compete in a trial to either become the emperor. I don't know. But I am excited and I saw Abby Lisi the book lover recently I got this as well so maybe we could buddy read girl even though we are so great at buddy reading. Yeah we'll leave that there. <laughs> the next book I found at an op shop is Station Eleven by Emily St. Mendel. No St. Emily St. John Mendel. Uh, Books and Lala raves about this book and when I saw it in hardcover in this really pretty pretty cover and then i believe the inside is like okay so we got white but then pink and pages oh it's just so pretty um so i had to grab it um but then i read what it was about and it seems a bit too close to home um so day one the georgia flu explodes over the surface of the earth like a neutron bomb news reports put the mortality rate at over 99 percent Week two, civilization has crumbled. Year 20. Um, I hope the coronavirus doesn't go 20 years, but with people being silly, you just never know. So remember, stay home, wash your hands, wear a mask. 
please. Next book I have is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is a thriller. I've been seen making the rounds. I don't really know much about it. I don't think I want to know much about it, but I think I do believe it's like a husband-wife couple killing people, which sounds so good, and I'm here for that. Next book I have is Flavors of Love by Dorothy Coombson. I read The Chocolate Run by Dorothy Coombson and really enjoyed it. And when I saw this at the op shop, I was like, heck yeah. I saw Flavors of Love and I'm like, oh, it's about cooking, it's about food, I'm here for that. But it's also about, I think it's like a mystery thriller. It's been 18 months since her husband has been murdered. Um, and then she finished writing the cookbook that she had started before he died. But now her daughter has confessed a secret and her husband's killer is now writing to her. So, I am excited. Speaking of books about food, I have With the Fire and High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This was a random act of kindness and I was so surprised and I was really really grateful um, but this is about a 17 year old mother Emoni Emony, and all she wants to do is cook and it seems like maybe people don't want her to cook I don't know I just really enjoyed the cover and it was on my wish list and yes I've seen lots of people talk about it and rave about it so here I am reading it I haven't actually read any of Elizabeth Acevedo's other works but I want to, and hopefully this is a good start. I'm not the biggest fan of prose books, which is what her Poet X is about, like is written in. So um, if you have read the Poet X, uh, let me know if you think I would like it. Um, if you like, I don't know, if it, is it too prosy? Do you know what I mean? But yes, I'm here to read this. And I'm excited to read it. This next book I saw Myona from Myona Reads haul in her July haul, I think. And then the next day I was uh, getting some things from the shops and I found it there. And that is The Black Kids by Christina Hemmons Reed. This is about this girl. I think it's based in 1992. And... Um, You've got this black girl and she's like part of a rich family and she hangs out with all the rich white kids. But then something happens. Rodney King, a black man, gets beaten half to death. Um, and suddenly Ashley is not just one of the girls, she's one of the black kids. And yes, I'm excited and this cover is absolutely gorgeous. I've been actively searching out black authors and... Um, books featuring black main characters so i am excited to read this and hopefully you guys will be able to pick it up and read it as well this book was also a random act of kindness and it is a night circus by erin morgenstern this is our ulysses favorite book ever so i'm super excited to read this and just to get to know abby a little bit more even though we're like book two besties i really think i need to pick up her favorite book because I'm not a very good bestie, am I? Yes, Elijah. Um, but this is about two magicians who kind of like have to fight to the death, I believe. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, I'm excited. Then we've got The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemison. I found this at the op shop and I thought that was so cool. This isn't one of her most popular series, but I'm still excited to read it. Um, because when I saw it was N.K. Jemisin, I knew I had to pick it up. So I didn't care what it was about. Um, but I believe it is a fantasy. Oh, and it's about um, the city called Sky, which is a palace above the clouds. And about this girl who's named one of the potential heirs to the king. Um, and so now Yane, Yain, um, is thrust into a pow vicious power struggle with a pair of covens she never knew she had. So that seems really exciting and I'm really excited to read it. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to read more of N.K. Jemisin soon. You want to show the book? Alright. The next book I got for my birthday. Show the book. Oh, other way. Show the other way. I got The Assassin's Quest. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 
Um, my dad actually got me the oh. whole Farsia trilogy um, for my birthday, and I have not read Assassin's Quest, so I'm super excited to read that one. Really? Thank you so much for helping Mummy. Yeah? And Mummy's turn. Mummy's turn? Mummy's turn to hold it? And then, last but not least, I got the fifth season. What's it, what's the um actual series called? Do you know Elijah? Um, but I got the fifth season trilogy by N.K. Jemisin from my dad for my birthday as well, and I am so excited because oh. these covers are super beautiful. Yeah, look at that. You're such a good helper. Thank you. But those are all the books that I have received or gotten or just hauled since the last one, which was what, just before July, maybe? Um, but yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see more of him as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye!